we know that you already have the cap uh, cap capacity to monitor every aspect of gas distribution from tanker trucks and bulk tanks to to dewers and cylinders you you mentioned that but are there still more opportunities out there waiting to be realized are there more aspects of the value chain that we can digitize and better monitor yeah so as you said we've always kind of had the ability to these things but i think to monitor these things but i think right now our focus is we're truly in a place where we're optimizing things like form factor install considerations and costs to really drive initiatives and in, you know these as in these smaller area assets right so i think while there's definitely opportunities out there i think like odo data is personally focused was going to be to continue on you know assisting our customers on deployments on bulk takes and to beyond and beyond because there's still a lot of runway there um, that said, um, one of the main things that we're looking at coming in the U.S. market in the IoT space is going to be the deployment and the advent of NB-IoT, which is kind of an incoming low, lower power, wider area network. Um, and again, that's in the coming years in the U.S. You're going to see the launch of that as a kind of a supplement to LTEM, which is, again, just like a low power IoT network that allows devices like telemetry to operate. So I think as that comes along, you're going to see, you know, long life battery powered with you know um low packets of data um, you can apply this technology to various other you know aspects of the supply chain and aspects of the industry and it's hard to tell um, where it could go but there's definitely a lot of opportunity just because of the type of technology that's coming down the pipeline on the cellular front as well